Hello everyone and welcome to the Four Science Update in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. This is version 0.2.0.0 and my first look at it. For reference, I have a i5 12600K and an RTX 2070 and I'm recording at 30 frames per second so you're not going to see more than 30 frames per second. And other things I should note, there's the Steam version and we will be starting a clean save. I'll show you the settings right now, well, English and uh, 40 persistent debris and enhanced joint system is on apparently that is new maybe uh, multi-joint system is off we may reconsider that we'll see uh, skip launch sequences off show fps oh i'll show you the fps i guess um, all right uh, so i don't know if i can use my joystick and throttle i'm not gonna mess with that right now not for the first try. So audio, graphics, I guess is the important thing. Anti-aliasing, uh, I haven't really seen a point to setting it high and it probably hurts the performance. Everything else is high though. So, all right, that is how that is. I mean, it looks pretty good as far as the aliasing is concerned. All right, so single player and we will create a new campaign. And this will be an exploration campaign, so obviously we have to create a new one. Uh, difficulty, let's make it, uh, let's start with rocket science and then customize a few things. Let's actually allow revert and quick loading. Heat is enabled, so that's new. We now have heat. Uh, docking tolerance all the way down. We do not have unbreakable joints right now. There is now some cheats if you want to use cheats. And the cheat menu is Alt F8. Um, cadet orientation I don't need, and we'll just keep that stuff for now. Alright, so starting. So on the new features, they have the exploration mode, We add, they added mission control and R&D center buildings, a tech tree of four tiers, mission tracker app, 11 primary missions and 30 secondary missions, so we'll see how that goes. And how quickly I get through that. Added uh, research inventory app, nine new science collection parts, unique points of int interest throughout the Kerbolar system. They don't call it the Kerbal system, uh, they call it the Kerbolar system. Implemented thermal system for part heating, re-entry VFX. Implemented Delta V tools in both VAB and flight, we'll see about that and added fully functional buoyancy system for floating vessels. Vessels We may or may not see about that, I don't know. Implemented a new audio ambience system. First iteration of the cheats menu, Alt F8. Boat dock environment, two new tutorials. Added new messages to the cadet orientation system. Add dozens of new items to the Kerbal variety system. And a starter rocket vessel, stock vessel. Anyway. So, we have a little science icon in the corner there, so I'm sure that will be important, but not a whole lot else going on right now. We do see R&D tracking mission control. Well, let's see about the R&D center. Starting rocketry gives us a pod, so no, it's not, it's not probe only first. We do start with Kerbals, because they're smart. They know the Kerbals are the selling point. Oh, new music. And so we start with the swivel, which is sort of surprising, actually, to me. But I guess that does make it easier. Uh, light launchers. So we don't get boosters right away. Saw a few boosters that are all, all the way up here. So no more burning through the previous stage. They actually give you the coupler right away. They, they don't want you to do unsightly things like burning through the previous stage with saw a few booster. Which I never did, but, you know, um, people did. Introductory construction and aerodynamics and stability. So, all right. Do we ever need anything more than the light stabilizer? Well, I guess we'll find out. So this is, uh, so power launchers are up here. There are not too many technologies involved, but you know, that's to be expected. And they're arrayed like that. Now let's take a look at mission control. Launch a rocket. Well, we better, uh, it says track mission and mission brief. This is the mission brief. I guess we automatically pick up the missions. It's, uh, so, Harry Kerman uh, gives us the little mention of what it's all about. Oh, uh, this is uh, about the mission control building. Okay. Join me for a mission brief. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, okay, continue. Oh, okay. It's just going to continue. Mission brief. 
Okay, that's just that. All right, track mission. Mission tracked. We can go to the VAB and R&D center down here. So let's just go to the VAB. Okay, pod. Parachute. <laughs> we don't have the heat shield yet. So let's not go too high. <laughs> we do want the decoupler. Let's see. That should be high enough. Does that get us to space? I mean, it says 2,000... Okay, this thing. 2,225 meters per second. And we could do a little bit more than that than just dump it if necessary. We're just gonna go straight up, get to space, come back down. That's probably too much, but we'll just deal with that. Okay, uh, engineer's report is like that. Lots of thrust weight ratio. Now, we do have a thrust limiter, so let's just use it. I want a very moderate sort of thrust. So that we don't get heat effects on the way up. Okay, and man pod is missing heat shield. Yes, because we don't have them. Kerbal manager. Well, um, I'm going to go with Jeb. <laughs> I have to go with Jeb. Sorry, everyone. All right, we we we're very traditional around here, I guess. All right, here it goes. Okay, so, SAS on, throttles up, and ignition, and go. Up he goes. We're not doing anything fancy, we're just going straight up. Apparently there have been performance improvements, I didn't read all the bug fixes and performance improvement things. Oh. Uh, return to mission control to submit mission brief. Probably I shouldn't be going to space yet, right? Probably space is a totally separate mission, but whatever. Okay, that's space with some buffer. So, this isn't gonna be too bad on the re-entry heating, right? Right? Hopefully. We probably have enough Delta V to do a soft landing. I'll, uh, we'll, uh, See about that. In other words, not decouple the booster. Okay, here we go. A little bit wiggly, though. Uh... Okay, parachutes. Parachute! Stay- uh, why, why can't I stage? Hmm... I was pressing spacebar quite... Vehemently, but maybe Fizz Warp? Let's revert to launch. <laughs> maybe we won't try and keep the booster. Boy, it didn't have much drag coming down, did it? Okay, well, up we go. Science has happened. Is this, uh, Kerbin Atmos? Oh, uh, I forgot to cut it. Record crew assessment of the situation. Transmit all. Well, it takes power to transmit it, though. I got four science points. No, it's still blinking that. Oh, low orbit. Well, we're not really in low orbit, though. But, um, oh, I can't transmit anymore. Now we don't have any power. I shouldn't have done that. But we can run the engine to get power, right? I already killed Jeb, just for, the ref <laughs> for just for reference. We've gotten that out of the way already. Probably the parachute didn't want to deploy because we're going too fast. Which is funny, because uh, previously they had deployed pretty darn fast. Uh, I had occasions where they popped out really early. Oh, we do have some effects there. Ooh, I don't know what happened there, but... Okay, this slows down pretty well. This uh, Coming down with the stage is not a good idea. Okay... Parachute. Okay. And we have parachute, and all is well. Okay, Jib sort of made it. And let us recover vessel. I got 24 research points. 
Okay, well, KSC, please. All right, well, then we can go to the R&D center and lock a few things. So let's research light launchers. Um, saw a few boosters, eh, you know. Uh, probes, uh, we can already get probes, so you just have to launch Jeb once. But then it's only the State Putnik, so, hmm. State Putnik is rough. Science Junior. Oh, yeah, let's just go for science stuff. Introductory construction. Nah. Science Junior is the only thing, huh? Thermometers are like where? I don't quite get this. Um. Or not thermometer, whatever else they have. They have a science junior. Where's all our other science parts? Small payloads. No, that's not anything. Moon landing. Nine science parts. Okay, well, we've got the science junior. Oh, no, we, we don't have it, but it's there. And then what? Research. Um, science junior junior. That's just cheating. <laughs> okay. Science Junior Junior. Okay, we got two. Well, I must be blind. I can't see where the extra science parts are hiding. Because I can't see them here, but... Sure, let's get the Science Junior. I mean... Let's go to Mission Control and see what we need to do. Launch a rocket. Submit. Okay. Well, we... we oh, we already got the science, right? We don't get extra science. Okay. Okay. Could have been rocket fumes. Yes. No comet. And went over the head. This is hilarious. Okay, R&D Center to see what new parts are available. Oh, uh, maybe... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we've got that stuff. So, alright, thanks, science. Okay, very good. Launch a rocket completed. Out of the atmosphere. Yes, um, track mission. 40 science just for doing that. Hmm. Do I even need to use science parts? <laughs> uh, altitude greater than 70. Well, we'll just go to orbit. <laughs> Uh, no, like we can't. We I don't have heat shields. I need to pick up heat shields. So, all right, but we'll carry the science junior this time. Do you suppose this would survive? This plus the science junior on the parachute. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, off we go. Just to space. Can we do the science junior right now? Well, we might as well do it in space. Okay, that's high enough. Okay, curve an atmosphere. Still, we can do that? Okay. Oh, but we need more power. Samples. Oh, let's run environmental survey. For that region already in storage. Okay, so we can't do atmosphere. Yeah, I should have slapped more batteries on. Okay, can we get more? Uh, apparently. Yeah, that's that's 24 signs. We can just keep that and return it. We don't have to transmit it necessarily, right? Crew observations is zero. We would need 148 to transmit everything. Let's just not mess around with this stage. Let's separate that off. Okay, uh, staging. Uh, okay, why does that say game pause? This happens sometimes. This this shows green down here, but it says game pause. But here it's the two X. The game pause. This is game pause. Anyway, okay. So let's get rid of the stage. So yeah. Don't come back, please. Okay, we have drag. Oh, we've got a little thermometer reading here that says it's overheating. That's for the Science Junior. It should be okay. Okay, parachute. Uh-oh. No, it couldn't carry all of this. No! Come on! Ah! Uh, we killed Val as well. Okay, so you can't put the science junior on the bottom like that. All right, uh, we'll just accept that. Let's go back to the space center. 
Uh, mission control, do you consider that a success? These are things I want to know, you see. I mean, I'm, I'm deliberately sacrificing Kerbals to answer certain questions, like, if you kill the Kerbal, does it count as a success? That our launch wasn't a success, let's make it undeniable. So... Um, you're already back. Achieved the objective, but you did so with minimal explosions. So, hold on. Uh, take that, Jeb. New intern snuck the mean sticky note into our break room on his behalf. Jeb has been wanting to press our big shiny thanks science button. What? Anyway. Training center. Okay. Coffee makers. Okay, coffee. Okay. Mission completed. Launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude greater than 70 kilometers, but it does not require us to bring the Kerbal back. So, we have answered that question. Orbit Kerbin. We just have to get up there and not bring them back. But let's try and bring them back this time. <laughs> uh, let's try to bring them back. We don't have a reputation tracker right now. So, we need heat shields. I guess we need aerodynamics and stability to get survivability, so alright. Okay, we have heat shields. So we can do this. There's the terrier. Um, we don't have quite enough, but we might as well. We're required to get solid fuel boosters in order to get orbital rocketry. What we need three science more to get orbital rocketry. All right. So let's get to orbit. Oh, do we have pad restrictions? Probably not. Well, that's four thousand meters per second. That's still a lot of thrust weight ratio. Are you sure you're calculating that right? Pretty sure it's not calculating that right. Why is it saying that we have 2.6 thrust weight ratio when we have, uh, you know, one point something? Because the one atmosphere thrust of this is 18.8 tons, let's say, and we're 15.5 tons. So we're more than one. We're okay. But it seems to be adding both of the engines together. It's assuming that we're going to fire both engines at the same time. We're not. Hmm. That's a peculiarity, isn't it? Ah, there are peculiar things here. Now, uh, here it's got apply to all stages. Oh, here it says thrust weight ratio is 1.41. That's probably right. Oh, so we've got all this information now. Vacuum, atmosphere, 1.24 at sea level. Yep, that's that's good. So that's atmosphere, and this one is vacuum. And then if you want to shortcut it, you can click all, uh, apply to all stages, whatever change you made here. So that's nice. You can see the burn times, finally all the things that we wanted to see. All right. So we can get off the ground, and we've got a fair amount of Delta V. Who are we sacrificing this time? Tim C. Well, I guess so. He's been wanting to go in there the whole time. Okay. On we go. Uh, it's got more science. Oh, I forgot to put the, the batteries on. Okay, looking good. Definitely past the speed of sound. Not the place I'd like to be staging. Hopefully we can get a little bit further along before the staging happens. Let's get that happening at the same time as that. Okay, staging. I don't want any instability here. Oh, it's reading zero. Hmm. It's confused. Uh, down there it's reading the right number, but in the stage it's reading zero. They've got some tweaking to do. Yep. Yeah. So it's zero thrust weight ratio too. It's because I changed the stages after the fact, maybe. Okay, we'll coast to Apoapsis here.
Let's see what happens when I time warp through into space. Nope, nothing in particular happened there. It says sign zero for those, so we shouldn't do those, right? I mean, there's no point transmitting them then. Um, out of curiosity, as I always do, uh, let's EVA. Okay, so we can EVA. Uh, can we right-click on the Kerbal and have the Kerbal do run crew observation? Invalid research location. It says you. Anyway, um... <laughs> I know a few astronauts that would beg to differ, but... Now, see, it once again says game paused when it's not actually in the paused level. Hmm. It's been a peculiarity before, and it still is now. Okay, so we did get that reward. And we have to, well, we don't have to bring our Kerbal back, apparently, but uh, we might as well bring our Kerbal back. We could have made a much bigger rocket than this and just gone on to Minmus, really, because we've got the side decouplers and everything. Uh, I'm sure the ones who are trying to maximize their science and show how clever they are, they are, uh, okay, uh, are going to do that. Oh, okay, well... Uh, mouse look, it, uh, it doesn't work quite the way it did before. Okay, so it is a very normal sort of re-entry situation. We don't have the Science Junior this time. Observation... Well, we already got that, apparently. We don't get, like, biome by biome or anything. But that's alright, we've got the science for the mission, so... A... Separation? Alright. Let's see what happens with the new heat effects. Okay. Oop. See? I mean... Okay, that's pause. Okay, now. Alright. Whatever. Whatever game. 0.2 tons of ablator. It says ablating. So we should see it change color and stuff. Okay. The re-entry effects. Subtle sounds. And sort of a subtle change in color. Well, much more right there. But maybe it was previously lit up by the flame effects. Okay, we are through. It has worked. It lost some of later, 0.03. But previously, we weren't able to carry the Science Junior with the parachute. But I guess the Science Junior wasn't catching enough drag? I don't know. I don't know why. Do we need to jettison this thing? It doesn't have a jettison option. Okay. Please slow down. Okay, it did deploy. I really don't know what happened with Val and the Science Junior. Okay, buoyancy time. Okay. Recoverable. Very stable in the- oh, is it- It paused itself again. Um... Still, it's not really buoyancying, right? It's not bouncing up and down. I don't know what it's doing. I'm not too sure about that. Splash in the water. Well, we should definitely transmit that. Okay. Four Noah's 3.2. Anyway, recover vessel. Don't be rounding like that on me. Okay, I just heard a thunk. Alright, let's wrap up the mission. So there we got the buoyancy test too. So, submit, land in a body of water. That's it, gotcha. Okay, continue. 
All right, I'll okay, continue. Over and out. Over and out! All right, thank you. That was a little celebration there. Okay, 60 signs for this. Gotcha. G gotcha. It was surprisingly flammable. Can't afford to turn anyone away. Yes, we must visit the moon. Okay, moon or bus, and then going green is the... Now it wants us to attach to Science Junior. And then space walk. Well, we'll get science for going on EVA like that. It's just we couldn't do it yet. R&D center. Okay, so what's most important here? Lights and utilities? Not really. They're forcing me to get lights, even. I want probe parts. They really, I mean, aside from the, the state Putnik, they're really not... I, I do want the batteries, though. Did we have other kinds of batteries? Probably not. So we really need the batteries anyway. Long-range probes. We have to wait until here to get the really good probes. But yeah, as we get serious science, we'll need these things. So let's research that first. And if I'm gonna go to the moon, I want my terrier, so. I've got 82 science, I just don't know what I want yet. Maybe landing legs. So let's just throw in the 80 and get this tier 3 science even. I want my ant engine. <laughs> you have to get all the way to tier 4 to get the ant engine. It's like nuclear engine. Where are where is the nerve? Those aren't even in the tech tree yet. There's a lot of stuff. They they added the science parts, but those aren't in the tech tree right now. Hmm. Interesting. So the nine science parts, they're not all in the tech tree. They probably exist in the sandbox mode, but not in this mode. Okay, well I've got moon landing, because I want to do that. Um, but, I think I've killed enough people in this particular episode. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll stop here. We, we got to orbit, that's what we normally try to aim for in the first episode. And I'll try to do more science things. I think I'll live stream the next bit. And then I'll make a video of that for YouTube after that. And we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know if we need to have the FPS in the corner. It's been pretty stable. We'll bring it back up again if it turns out that it's actually doing something interesting. Otherwise, it's just annoying. Okay, so that setting changed. All right, so anyway, with that first look of For Science, and I'll be making more videos about it pretty soon. I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.